वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द सेशन 17 फ्रॉम द प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एंड फील्ड्स एंड दिस सेशन इज इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द सेशन नंबर 16 एंड टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द इलेक्ट्रिकल फील्ड एट अ पॉइंट ड्यू टू एन इनफाइनेटली लॉन्ग चार्ज शीट सो हियर आई हैव मेड वन इनफाइनेटली लॉन्ग चार्ज शीट and this is one section of that infinitely long charge sheet and this sheet is considered to be positively charged now <clears throat> here the uh, surface charge density has been taken as sigma and uh, we have to find uh, here i have already drawn one figure in order to save the time so uh, in order to find the uh, electric field at this uh, randomly chosen point this is the point p where i will be finding the value of the electrical field so uh, what i have done is as per the gauss law we will be using the gauss law in order to find the intensity of electric field at this point p and as per the gauss law the first step is to make one gaussian surface um enclosing the point at which we have to find the value of electric field so here i have made one cylindrical gaussian surface enclosing this point p and uh, so the first step is done the second step is that we have to find the total amount of charge which is enclosed in this gaussian surface so the total amount of charge say it is q so this will be equal to sigma divided by the <coughs> the area of cross section uh, or you can say the uh, uh, area enclosed by this gaussian surface the area of this infinitely long charge sheet enclosed by this gaussian surface so if the cross section uh, area of uh, this surface a is small a, i have taken it as a small a then the and if the surface charge density is sigma then the then the total charge q Which will be enclosed by this Gaussian surface will be equal to that is sigma is equal to charge per unit area, so this will be equal to a that is q upon a where a is the cross section area of this surface a and this surface c. I have divided this cylindrical Gaussian surface into three parts: this surface a, this surface c, and this curved surface b. So. <clears throat> now this is a positively charged uh, uh, this infinitely long uh, sheet and uh, since this is this is a positively charged sheet so the uh, direction of the electrical field will be as given by this arrow that is it will be directed radially outward so <clears throat> now the normal to the surface c and a will be as given by this arrow and it will be parallel to the direction of the electrical field so in this case the angle between the normal to the surface c and a and the direction of the electrical field will be zero that is theta will be zero uh, uh, in case of uh, in case of this uh, uh, this uh, surface a and c and this theta will be equal to 90 degree <coughs> in the case of this uh, curved surface b because here the normal to the surface is pointing in this direction as indicated by this arrow and so it will be making an angle of 90 degree with the direction of the, of the electrical field so in the case of this curved surface b theta will be equal to 90 degree so the charge which is enclosed by this gaussian surface let's say q this will be equal to sigma into a and what is a this will be the area of this uh, infinitely long charge sheet which will be uh, enclosed by this gaussian surface because the area of this uh, this surface a and c is a therefore the area which will be the area of this infinitely long charge sheet will also be equal to a and this will be the area which will be enclosed by this gaussian surface so the q will be so the amount of the charge which will be enclosed by this gaussian surface will be equal to q will be equal to sigma into small a now <clears throat> as per the gauss law the total flux uh, through the uh, this gaussian surface will be equal to 
ये टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज विच इज एनक्लोज बाय दिस गोसियन सर्विस विच इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा ए डिवाइडेड बाय एप्साइलन नॉट हियर वी आर कंसीडरिंग दैट दिस इनफाइनेटली लॉन्ग चार्ज शीट इज प्लेस्ड इन फ्री स्पेस तो दिस इज द फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला नाउ द सेकंड फॉर्मूला इज दिस इलेक्ट्रिक सॉरी हां द द इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स ड्यू टू uh any closed surface is also given by e a uh, e s cos theta where s is the surface area of uh, that uh, uh, closed surface and e is the intensity of electric field and theta is the angle made by the direction of the electric field and the normal to the surface so here in this case here uh, this is the cylindrical gaussian surface so for the surface a i am taking the flux to the surface a as phi a the flux to the surface b is phi c and the flux to the surface c is phi c now the flux to this surface a will be equal to what e the area of this surface has been taken as small a and here the theta will be equal to 0 that is the angle between the direction of the electric field and the normal to the surface so this theta will be equal to 0 so this will be equal to e into a because cos 0 is equal to 1 For this, the flux to this curved surface B will be equal to zero because the angle between the normal to the surface and the direction of the electric field uh, is 90 degrees. So this will be equal to zero because cos 90 is zero. And for this curved surface C, the flux will be equal to E into A. So this is equal to two times E A. So this is the second equation which I have got. That is, this is the total flux which is passing through this. cylindrical gaussian surface so from the equation 1 and 2 <coughs> from this equation 1 and 2 i am getting that 2 ea is equal to sigma a divided by epsilon not or we can say that <coughs> the value of the this uh, the uh, this electric field or okay, okay, you can say that the intensity of electric field at this point p Will be equal to this a and a will get cancelled out. That will be equal to sigma divided by two epsilon not. So here I can so the value of e here is equal to sigma upon two epsilon not. So uh, here we can see that. the intensity of the electric field at uh, any point uh, at, at any point due to this infinitely long charge sheet is totally dependent on the on the surface charge density if the surface charge density is increased then the intensity of the electric field uh, at any uh, this uh, randomly chosen point uh, near this uh, infinitely long charge sheet will increase so Thank you very much for joining this session and uh, in the next session I will be uh, coming up with a couple of questions based on the electric flux and the gauss law so till then have a nice day bye